welcome to engineering visualization channel so today we are going to do problem number 23 a line has its end a 15 mm mebu hp and 10 mm in front of vp so they have given here uh, for the end projectors the distance here that is for uh, end of the projection lines they have given uh, distance here okay distance of uh, 15 mm above hp that is above the xy line we have to draw 15 mm and 10 mm in front of VP. End projector means it is nothing but uh, the end of the end of the projection lines. Okay, this is where uh, from where we consider the draw the locus lines. Okay, in order to draw the locus lines, this uh, distance were given. The end B is 55 mm above HP, and the line is inclined at 30 degree to HP and for the other uh, end uh, projector they have given distance of 55 mm. So first uh, we will be drawing an XY line and drawing the locus lines ok. So first we will draw the XY line and write VPHP that is first quadrant. draw xy and write vphp so this is our first quadrant now draw the locus line points that is the end projector distance given right 15 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp so for this uh, we will be drawing the locus line first 15 mm i am marking one and a half box 10 mm means one box so here i will be drawing the locus lines okay line dot line dot so this is the way to write the locus line so below the xy line we are drawing another locus line here show the dimensions dimension of 15 and 10 mm Now the end B is 55 mm above HP and the line is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So above the XY line we should consider the height of 55 mm. 55 mm means it is, uh, it is a 5 and a half box and here we have to draw another locus line. Okay, show the dimension, dimension of 55 mm. Now we have to draw one line that is uh, at an angle of 30 degree. For that we have to take a reference point here, okay, reference point. So I'll be writing this as A dash. In VP plane, we write A dash. 30 degree inclination we have to give. So place the protractor at the reference point and mark for angle 30 degree. So draw a line passing through that angle point till the locus okay this is your b1 dash okay this is nothing but your true length okay true length angle they have given so i'll be marking the dimension of it so the dimension what we get here it is 80 mm So dimension of 80 mm here, 80, okay. Now this is A dash B1 dash is equal to, this is nothing but the true length, okay. True length uh, what we have find out it is 80 mm, okay. 
now we have to look at it, the question okay how much uh, the other information they have given here it is inclined at 30 degree you can see here the distance between the end projectors okay end projector is 50 mm so just I'll be drawing vertically downward one line from here okay and this is A so horizontally we have to consider that uh, distance 50 mm that is uh, the apparent length end uh, points were there right? and they are uh, falling at a distance of this 50 mm ok. So, now we have to project the line vertically downward. Okay, till here we have to project ok and for this uh, end projectors they have given this uh, 50 mm distance right. So, we will be drawing one vertical line here ok the distance between the end projector is 50 mm that means we will be drawing one uh, vertical line at a distance of uh, 50 mm there. This is your B1. So, measuring this A B1, we will be cutting an arc, ok. And now I am going to extend this uh, 50 mm distance, ok. So, by extending this uh, from there, we have drawn one horizontal line at a distance of 50, right. So, we have to project it downward, yes here. Okay, the intersection of these two points we get the uh, apparent length. Here at the intersection of this point, we will be drawing the another locus line. Okay, now you join this point is AB, this is the apparent length, okay. So, from the true length by drawing vertical line and then rotating we will get the upper end length. This is A B. The length A B is nothing but your upper end length. Ok, subscribe to my channel and turn the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited. So, A B is nothing but your upper end length. Ok. So, upper end length how much it is having dimensions we are going to measure it it is uh, nothing but 70 mm ok now we got the two lines here two length and upper end we got now we have the concept that true length in front view is equal to true length in top view because true lengths were same in the projection of lines ok true length in top view will be exactly equal to the true length in front view. So, here we already got a dash b 1 dash it is 80 mm that is a b 2 is equal to a, a dash b 1 dash. So, it is 80 mm. So, we got the 80 mm. So, we measure 80 mm from the compass and we cut the arc. So, we will be measuring the length of a dash b 1 dash ok a dash b 1 dash equal to a b 2 we will measure this length and we cut the arc ok now we will connect these two points cut our point with the a you will get the true length in top view ok this is a b 2 ok and this is also having the dimension of a t Now we have to project it upward from the point of B2. T 
till here okay then again we have to use the compass here and cut the arc and this point is nothing but b2 dash b2 dash so measure the length from a dash to b2 dash and draw an arc okay now join a dash and this cut point this is b1 or b dash you can say this is b dash this is also the upper end length upper end length in front view so now we have uh, constructed all the true lengths in the upper end lengths now we have to find out the angle of inclinations here okay angle of inclinations for the true lengths and upper end lengths we are going to find out So true length angle for the top view here it is 36 degree and for the upper end length it is 44 degree and same way I will be finding out angle for the upper end length here. Okay, you can know from this problem that apparent angles were always greater than the true angles. Okay. Okay, now finally I am going to find out the apparent lens here. Okay, guys, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notification and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited so here i am finding out the upper end length in front view and then we can uh, write down the same things here so the upper end lens here so a b we got 70 mm okay a dash b dash we are getting 66 mm okay and upper end angles so alpha t is a 36 degree and 44 degree okay thank you all thank you for watching the video